today, Total Tamsu. Welcome to JLo's So Hot, So Tasty Kitchen. This is my playground. Thanks for joining me. Did you know there are many ways to prepare chicken caliguin? Not one, not two, not three, but many ways to prepare chicken caliguin. I would love to share how I prepare that dish. It's pretty simple, absolutely satisfying, and a most wanted dish at a party or a barbecue, but not to mention, I enjoy preparing this dish and I love to eat it. Let me show you step-by-step step how I prepare chicken caliguin. Come on in and let's see what type of ingredients we have to prepare that dish. All right, so the type of ingredients that we are going to use to prepare chicken caliguin is doni or hot peppers. We also have green onions, onions, we have lemon powder for taste and to cook our chicken, we have salt, we also have water, we have shredded coconut, our source of protein will be chicken, and we have a pot of water. Okay, our first step that we are going to do is we are going to place about 10 pieces of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that have been cleaned. And we are gonna place it in the hot water to boil. Now this way of me preparing chicken caliguin, I am boiling my chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and place that in there and allow it to come to a boil. We wanna go ahead and boil this for about 20 minutes. So my heat is on medium high. We're gonna go that go ahead and allow this to cook. Cover it halfway so that the water don't overflow out of the pot. And we will check back in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and turn off our heat. Check out how our chicken is going. Now if you're preparing this right away after the chicken has cooled down, then you don't have to overcook your chicken because the lemon is going to cook it. So we are going to take out our chicken and place it here and allow it to cool off. So we can chop it. Now the reason why I say about 20 minutes because we don't want to overcook our chicken and, and then it's dry. So um, like I said, we're gonna allow the lemon, that's why it's called caliguin because the lemon is what cooks our um, source of meat that we are using to prepare caliguin. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside to cool off and we will work on our next ingredient. Okay, so while our chicken is cooling off, we are going to make our sauce. I like to do it this way because I want to be able to cook um, the onions and allow it to soak up into the uh, lemon juice. So we are going to add two tablespoons of lemon powder. Now it's also to your taste. Um, this is also four tablespoons of water in here. This is one tablespoon of salt. Okay, let's go ahead and mix that in. Now the reason why I use water in this mixture is because the chicken, when you're boiling it, it tends to get dry. And this is just also too to mix in the, the 
ingredients together. Okay, now we are going to add our hot pepper. Now it's also to your taste. Um, you like pika, pika means hot. You can add a lot of peppers. So today we are going to use about two peppers. Because these hot peppers are very spicy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mix that in. Now I'm going to add half of an onion. And this is diced thinly. But it's also your preference how thick of an onion you like up in your telegram. Okay, so we're just gonna mix that all together. My mouth is already watering, <laughs> making this, it's kind of like a finna denny too. All right, so let's go ahead and set that aside and work on our next ingredient. All right, now let's work on the next ingredient while we wait for our chicken to cool off. We are going to use, since I don't have a kumzu, which we use to grate coconut, I found this at my local Asian store. And this is frozen shredded coconut, seven ounce. What we're gonna do is we are going to cut, cut it into smaller pieces because they're pretty long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it even smaller. I remember as a young girl, whenever the coconut needed to be grated for some type of dish that my parents were preparing, I dreaded it. I didn't like doing it because it was tiring. It had not just one coconut, but lots of coconut if we were making chicken caligrin or some type of caligrin. Or we wanted fresh coconut milk. So let's go ahead and set that aside. So this is an easy way. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and cut that again to smaller pieces. All right, so our chicken has cooled off. Let's go ahead and start chopping away. Now we are just going to cut, depending how thick you like your chicken, but I'm gonna cut mine thin. Okay. And then we are just going to chop. Just like that. Then we're just going to place it in our dish. Okay, so our chicken are all chopped up. Now let's go ahead and prepare our chicken caligouin. So what we're gonna do is we are going to stir this lemon, salt, water, peppers, and onion that we have prepared earlier. We 
are going to pour that in. Now this is the way I prepare my chicken calabrini. Mmm, mouth is all watering already. So it's been massaged in. Let's go ahead and add our next ingredient. Now this is the shredded coconut that we had chopped up, which is a seven ounce frozen coconut. Let's go ahead and mix that in. You can prepare this dish if you're far away from home and you really want to eat it. It's really simple, so easy to prepare. All right, now we are going to add our green onions, which was about three, three bundles. Let's mix that in. Now you can enjoy this with rice, you can enjoy this on your fiesta plate, you can enjoy this with flour to tease us, corn to tease us. Have it as a appetizer, chessa. Okay. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment below, give me your thoughts about this dish. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, make sure to share with your family and friends. Hit that bell to turn on your notifications to get my next video upload. Thanks for joining me here at JLo's So Hot, So Tasty Kitchen. In the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, be encouraged, and be blessed. Much love, JLo.